Hi there everyone, this is Teacher Carol once again and join me as we continue our lesson about NTC's Dictionary of Everyday American English Expressions brought to you by Camglish.com In today's video, we will continue our lesson about apologizing and taking responsibility. Today, we will start with accepting the blame for something. How will you accept the blame for what happened? We can use the following expressions that we have here. We can say, it's all my fault or it's my fault. I'm fully responsible. I take full responsibility. I take the blame. I blame no one but myself. Or, mia culpa. Or, mia maxima. Mia maxima culpa is a Latin phrase meaning my mistake or my own fault. Now, again, if something bad happens and no one take the responsibility and you know part of it is you, you can go ahead and take it and say the following expressions again if you want to accept the blame for something. One more time, everybody say, it's all my fault or simply, it's my fault. I'm fully responsible. I take full responsibility. I take the blame. I blame no one but myself. Or, the Latin phrase means my mistake or my own fault. Mia maxima culpa. So next time that something bad will happen at your school or in your workplace, you can go ahead and use the following expression to accept or to take the responsibility. Now, let's move on to our next topic for today. Admitting your errors. Again, how will you say that you did something wrong? You can say, my mistake. I shouldn't have said that or I shouldn't have done that. I should have asked you first and I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Honest. I honestly didn't mean it. I didn't intend it that way. I didn't mean to do it or I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean it that way. And I don't know how that could have happened. Those expressions are used if you think or if you know that you did something wrong. And maybe you did that accidentally or unintentionally. But the best way for you to apologize is to admit that you did something wrong and try to do it well the next time. So, one more time, let's practice. My mistake. I shouldn't have said that or I shouldn't have done that. I should have asked you first. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Honest. I honestly didn't mean it. I didn't intend it that way. I didn't mean to do it. Or, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean it that way. I don't know how that could have happened. So, reminder, if you did something wrong, Apologize and accept your mistake. Okay? Very good. Next thing is promising never to repeat a particular mistake. If a while ago, 
you accept that you did something wrong and you're done with your apology, the next thing that you will do now is to promise that you will never do the same mistake. Now, how will you say that? Here are the expressions that you can use. You can say, it won't happen again. It will never happen again. I won't do it again. I'll see to it that it never happens again. Or, I'll see that it never happens again. So, again, the pattern of asking for an apology for something that you did wrong. First, apologize. Second, accept that you are the one who did something wrong. And third, give your resolution. And that is to promise that you will never repeat the same mistake. One more time, say, it won't happen again. It will never happen again. I won't do it again. I'll see to it that it never happens again. Or, I'll see that it never happens again. Great. So, don't forget the pattern, okay? And that will be all for today. In the next video, we will continue our lesson about apologizing and taking responsibility by talking about offering to make amends and asking for forgiveness. This has been your teacher, Carol, always saying have fun while learning new expressions, only here from Cambridge.com. Goodbye for now.